let's see what is intersecting secant theorem if we have a circle with center o and two secants are there intersecting at external point p let's say this secants are cutting the circle at point a b and point c d then by this theorem the product of p a into p b so this is your p a into p b so product of this length will be equals to product of p c into p d this is what is intersecting secant theorem if we'll see this diagram again then here in this circle the two secants are there and these two secants are intersecting each other at external point and here in this the length of cd c into d will be say equals to length of a into b that's intersecting secant theorem let's see the proof of this theorem so let's see the solution of this here given to us is two secants a b and c d in a circle they are intersecting at an external point p and this here we have to prove that the product of p a into p b that will be equal to p c into p d so we have to do some construction here that is to join a c and b d now here two triangles are getting formed one triangle is your triangle p b and d another triangle is your triangle p a and c so let's take these two triangles here so in these two triangles angle p is common right additionally we have got angle p a c so this angle p a c now if you will see a b a b d c this is a cyclic quadrilateral and in cyclic quadrilateral the exterior angle now this is the exterior angle this is equals to interior opposite angle so we can say that this angle p d b this is equals to angle p a c so we have got this p a c and p d b are equal in two triangles if two angles are equal then we can say the triangles are similar to each other now by comparing the corresponding sides we get pa upon pd is equals to pc upon pb cross multiplying it we'll get pa into pb is equals to pc into pd and that's what we had to prove hence proved i hope intersecting secant theorem and its proof is crystal clear to you we'll see you in next video till then tata bye bye